2016 saw a lot of vocabulary, or slang as some people would call it, brought into the mainstream. And yes, I know I sound weird. I'm sick. Deal with it. A lot of people use these terms to make a sweet statement to shorten something or to describe a sound. With these characteristics in mind, I have brought to you new vocabulary for 2017. First word, wait for it, FAC. F-A-C-K. Now, you know when you mess up something real bad or you've been working on your laptop on something very important for so many hours and then your laptop shuts off for no reason at all? FAC is the sound you make when something like that happens without actually swearing. For example, I recently integrated my Facebook Messenger with um, text messaging. <laughs> so, with this in mind, I tried to send a link and message to my best friend asking about something pertaining to a guy that I really, really like. Now, because of the delay in Facebook Messenger, it sent it all in text to the actual guy in question. This, of course, is when I proceeded to freak out and yelled, Fuck! Obviously freaking out, but thinking fast, I quickly told him to ignore it, calling Facebook Fackbook. Hence, Fack was born. I'm a genius, I know. Which brings me to the next one, a hybrid of Thanks Obama and Fack. I bring you Thanks Fackbook. Now, that one may not stick, but you know what? I'm not gonna be butthurt about it. Now, we've all heard bay a million times over. But what confuses me about it is that it means before anyone else. Stay with me here. Think of the actual meaning of that. My problem with it is that people that actually use bay wouldn't actually put that into effect when it comes to choosing them, their significant other, or their family. Now, of course, I get that in some cases they would, but I feel like unless you want to marry this person and see a family together, don't use they. Of course, some people use sweetie or honey, but both sweet and honey are mass-produced. Of course, I get that it's meant to portray that their significant other is sweet, but it's not very unique to that person. Instead, I propose for someone like me who has had a rough life and still manages to see the positive in everything, call that person Diamond. Because with all that negativity in their life, that person has still managed to come out strong-willed and with a beautiful personality. And no, I am not complimenting myself. I am using something my friends have said to me as an example. Come on, you really think my ego is that big? Now, last, but certainly not least, this is not so much new vocabulary, but more of a clarification for me. Transsexual and transgender. These two words confuse me because they are used interchangeably. Now, I feel that transsexual might mean that you are actually attracted to someone who is transgender. Now, this is because I relate the word to asexual, heterosexual, homosexual, bisexual, pansexual. You see my point? Of course, this means that I relate the word transgender to cisgender, gender fluid, agender, etc. Now, if I'm wrong, I'm not going to get mad and force people to think my way. This is more of me asking for clarification. And if I am wrong, you have every right to call me a nutbag. In fact, I encourage it. I mean, come on, how else would you explain me coming up with something like fat? This girl is a bananas. <laughs> you see how I use the vegan references? Now, if you like that, please come back for more. Like, subscribe, and be sure to tell your friends. I swear it's not a chore. And be sure to check out my other channels. My health channel and my vlog channel. My health channel for more tips and tricks and being vegan. And also to learn more about my epilepsy. My vlog channel to watch what I'm up to every day.